people are still flying, there's just not many of them. This was London Luton Airport this morning. Shops are shut and just a handful of flights are using the airport now. 11,000 people are usually employed on the site. This is the departure hall and it's normally absolutely rammed at the moment. It's very, very quiet, although there are a number of repatriation flights going to Eastern Europe. Normally 30,000 passengers a day depart through here. Now it's down to about 1,000. That's the quietest it's been in 50 years. This went from being a very successful business to being on the brink within a week. This is what has happened to the skies over the southeast. On the left, it shows the number of flights a year ago. On the right, it's what's flying recently, a huge reduction in flights. Of course, it's not just London Luton Airport that's struggling. City Airport has shut. Gatwick has closed its North Terminal and Heathrow's going to one runway on Monday. Now, what the aviation industry want is some help from the government with their fixed costs. 75% of their costs are fixed. Things like security, air traffic control and policing. At Stansted, this drone footage shows how they're parking aircraft now, not flying them. We've uh, seen a huge decline in operations here at Stansted. Uh, we're running around about uh, hundreds of passengers a day, as opposed to tens of thousands of passengers. The industry says airports are vital for transporting essential supplies, and it employs thousands of people across the southeast. It would like a deferral of business rates and a reduction in policing costs. Experts say the government is likely to be selective. Not all airlines and all airports are equal uh, before the eyes of any possible uh, intervention. Some are very capable of standing on their own two feet, uh, can draw upon their own uh, cash resources or credit lines and efficient uh, dynamic management. Others are much more fragile and arguably would have failed anyway. Environmentalists say any government help must be targeted at workers and their families and support aviation to become greener. At the moment, though, aviation is struggling. Tom Edwards, BBC London.